Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, <clears throat> Fiber to Laser Training. My name is Jeff, and this is, oh, wait, he's not here. I'm just kidding. Noah is at a friend's house, so he won't be joining us today. But we did want to do a video on uh, the offset tool. It's a very useful tool. There was a post on Facebook a couple of days ago, and a girl was trying to make a signature, a handwritten signature, a little bit thicker. And she posted on there, how do I do this? And many different people commented a plethora of different ways that she could have achieved the same results, but many of them involved a different graphic design software, whether it was Coral Draw or Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, etc., so on and so forth. And she was on the fiber uh, laser page, and I was like, well, are you using EasyCAD? If so, then use the offset. It's the same thing they're telling you to do, except for you can do it right there where you're at at the moment. And she did, and she was able to uh, to achieve some pretty good results, I think she said. So that's awesome. Uh, and what we have on the screen here, fiber laser training, this was also done using the offset tool. But, uh, so we'll get this out of the way there and bring up my coin I've got to do. And this is a Clemson coin. I'm going to do a ball marker for um, my buddy Chris, which I need to go ahead and give a quick shout out to. And he has helped us so much uh, operating the camera and setting up lights for us and all kinds of stuff behind the scenes. Um, he used to operate cameras for ESPN and TV stations, so he's pretty knowledgeable in all this stuff. It's very good to have him in my corner. So thank you very much, Chris. I really appreciate it. This coin is a surprise for you. You will have the coin before you see the videos, so you're welcome. Uh, and for all those people out there that's going to be like, oh, you're going to get sued. Yeah, well, I'm actually an official licensee of Clemson University, so no need to worry about that. So if you guys want some officially licensed Clemson gear lasered, let me know, and I'll hook you up. All right, so... We're going to do this coin at about 30 millimeters in size. Now here's the coin. It's a stainless steel. It's three millimeters thick, 32 millimeters. So that's what we're going to be. That's what we're going to be doing the coin on today. I don't want to be doing the coin today. Just kind of showing you how to use the offset. So, without further ado, I will show you how to use the offset. So the offset tool is located in the edit panel. And edit is up top here next to file. If you go all the way down, next one to the bottom is offset. This should be what it looks like by default, <clears throat> something very similar to this. And you can move these boxes around here, even the hatch box or any, any dialog box that pops up like this. But uh, when it pops up, you, you have these options. Uh, to delete old curve, offset inside, arc corners, and the distance. Well, the old curve is exactly what you see here now. So everything you see here is the old curve. I only have the, the knickerbocker, I think it's what it's called, the selected, the paw. I only have the paw selected right now. And so if you were to delete the old curve, which is selected now, it would delete it if we follow through, then this would go away and then whether or not you offset inside or outside would remain. And so we'll do offset inside first, and we'll do that as something we can see as one millimeter. And to show you what it would look like, we would not delete the old curve. And beams that we're dealing with, mostly round objects anyway, it's no really uh, not necessary to do arcing the corner. That would kind of, you know, be like a, what they call a bevel. You know, instead of a hard 90, it would swoop out soft corner, if you will. So we're going to offset inside one millimeter. And you see what we did. So we, we basically created a smaller version of that paw inside of itself. And this is a terrible rendition of art. This is not the paw I'm going to use. This is the one I found. <laughs> so you can right-click, actually, and repeat the offset command. And this time we're going to delete the old curve. And we're going to offset even further inside. And so now it just pretty much goes away because there wasn't a millimeter in between the old curve and the new offset. 
So this distance here is less than two millimeters, and that's why it disappeared, which is pretty handy to know. And I would like to show you something here. We'll just pick, actually, I'll, I'll delete that. We'll just pick this one guy right here. We'll, we'll put a line in between the two lines that are there. And so if we repeat the offset, we're going to repeat inside. We're going to delete the old curve. And this time we'll only do a half a millimeter. And pay attention. Right now we have the, the larger part of that call pad selected. And when we hit OK, well, now the offset is selected. So it deselected the larger piece and selected the offset, which is super handy in some applications, especially if a lot of lines are laying over top of one another and you might have to weld and trim intersect. Anyway, it would hold all those selected as a group. And we know that it is selected because the new offset I can delete just like that. So, once again, if we right-click, you could repeat it. And now, this one's the one that's selected. So, it's a very useful tool. And then we will delete that. And once again, I'll go a little bit slower. You would select your object, go to Edit, down to Offset, and then your dialog box pops up with your... And this is a Boolean logic. So if you see it, you'll get it. If you don't see it, you won't get it. So it'll obviously actually do the opposite. So if you offset inside is checked, it will be smaller than the overall size of the selected arc. If you have that deselected, it will offset outside. And I'll show you how that happens right now. So now we offset outside instead of inside. And if anybody's familiar with Lightburn, Lightburn has an offset tool in it also, and it is way, way more intuitive and functional and just all around multi-talented than our EasyCat offset. But there's something to be said about the EasyCat offset too. So, we, you know, I've used it numerous, numerous times and had plenty of good success with it. I'd like to do another video more in-depth on offset, but... Just the, the vast amount of people that reached out to me after I posted that, and they're like, oh, my gosh, I didn't know you could do that. And that's awesome. And I've been doing it over here and bringing it back in EasyCAD and what have you. It's like, you know, EasyCAD is a pretty powerful tool if you know how to use it. Um, everybody discounts it. And, but it is finicky. You know, not I'm not defending it whatsoever, but it does have a lot more power in processing than most people actually give it credit for. So it does have a lot more power. Uh, the offset tool is very, very useful. And this will also change the outcome. So I'll give you a real quick example. If we were to just hatch, you know, the knickerbocker, it would look just like that. But if we were to offset it, and let's just go back to inside, and, and we'll do it the one millimeter we did earlier. And now we select those guys and we group them together and hatch it. And then it completely changes the outcome. So now the inside of the paw is not lasered. It's just this outside ring. So their possibilities are endless. There's lots of cool stuff you could do with it. I'll, uh, I'll post a picture on the Facebook or TikTok or something and show you when I'm doing this coin and what it looks like when we're done and when I finally get done offsetting it and figure out what I'm going to do. But uh, I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, and I got my, got my shirt on. Uh, I am a laser operator. And you got to forgive my mess. I didn't come here to impress you with a clean room, <laughs> obviously, as you see. But this is a working laser shop. So maybe your room looks just as bad, if not worse. So I really appreciate you watching. Also really appreciate the outpouring of support. Everyone that's reached out to me and offered to help me, uh, give me pointers, tell me what to buy, tell me what not to do. I really appreciate that. Uh, Chris over at House of Lasers, he's given me a bunch of pointers. Chad over at Man Crafting, which is a great channel. He's a cool dude. you got to check him out. He's got a ton of lasers, and he does a lot of cool stuff. But I really appreciate everyone 
um, that has that has put in the work to help me. So, without further ado, dad jokes. All right. So, you ready for dad jokes, huh? Dad jokes number 87. Uh-huh. So, Carter, did you know that the first french fries were not fried in France? Where were were they fried? They were fried in Greece. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll see you next time. Goodness. It's good stuff. <laughs> good, clean fun. Thanks a lot from here at Fiber Laser Training. We appreciate it. And um, check out our website. Get you a t shirt and enter yourself in to get one of those cool rotaries. See you next time. Thanks. And have a good day and laser on.